Are you a yeah? <laughs> You're not on there, I promise. You're really, really nice people. That's glowing in the glowing. Oh my god. Oh. Blooper reel is going to be so long. Are you a pastel pencil artist and are you fed up with sharpening your pencils with a blade or a scalpel? If so, carry on watching. So today I'm going to be reviewing various pencil sharpeners I have used specifically for pastel pencils and my results with them, which I'm going to share with you today. Why is your desk such a mess, Benita? I hear you asking. That is because this is video two, because video one went so tragically wrong that I've had to refilm the whole thing. The blooper reel at the end of this is really quite long and a bit bleepy. So if you fancy a giggle, watch, <laughs> watch at the end. Um, yeah, so this is take two and I haven't cleaned up the mess because I wanted to look very unprofessional and a complete mess. So as I mentioned, I'm going to be reviewing the pencil sharpeners I have used specifically specifically for pastel pencils. Now this was the way that we're pretty much told to sharpen them, um, but they hurt my hands after a while. And when you're sharpening 160, 120, whatever the number is, it's starting to hurt your hands. So I got a bit fed up with it and I wanted to find a way of doing it. And I wanted to get really nice sharp points, which are quite limited to when all you have is a blade and a bit of sandpaper. So I had a bit of an experiment with sharpeners I already had. I've wasted just on these 23 quid because they cost 11 pounds ish, depending on where you buy them. Um, sometimes you can pick them up on a good deal for about six quid. And this was my absolute favorite go-to pencil sharpener for all of my wax and oil pencils. So me being the brightest, yeah, brightest rainbow in the field, decided that I'm going to use it for my pastel pencils. Ah, ah, bad idea. If you're not familiar with crank part, um, sharpeners, they normally get attached to the edge of your desk. You just pull them open like that. Blunt pencil. It's not that blunt. But you pop it in and then you just wind it up. And what it's supposed to do while it's sharpening it's supposed to be pushing this in so the the crank pulls the pencil through as it sharpens as you can see it's not going nowhere because i broke it in fact i broke two and the reason being is they're not designed for pastel pencils if you look at my beautiful swordfish pointy here get that in and give it a whirl you can see it moving it's so already sharpened, you can hear the difference now. There's nothing left to sharpen. And then we get that beautiful point on there. So, you know, that's why I wanted to use it for the pastel pencils. But be warned, if you use a crank, it will eventually go. I have heard of some artists, I know that Jason Morgan uses one. I can't remember if he uses a swordfish or something different, but he uses it for his pastel pencils and has never had a problem. Um, I don't want to take that risk. I've already broken two. I don't really want to do it again. I have given you your warning. So these are just some random sharpeners. I do have more around, but with two kids, nothing is ever my own when it comes to stationery. So I have to hide these preciouses to make sure that they don't use them. Can't remember where I got this from. I think it was WH Smith. I'm not even going to show you because it's absolutely useless when it comes to pastel pencils. This one comes from an art shop and you've actually probably seen these around in various art shops, stationery shops, that was really loud, um, and possibly online. And they're brilliant for oil pencils. They're not great for pastel pencils. Essentially, you're supposed to work your way. Let's see if I can find a blunt and pastel pencil now i can't remember in all honesty whether you work from short to longest or longest to short but either way it stops it's not doing any sharpening at all no sharpening i keep dropping stuff 
and this is on the medium we got a little bit of sharpening and then it stops this one is a mayped mapped i don't actually know how you pronounce it if i look at it from a phonetic point of view mapped um, and I thought brilliant it's a really hefty metal sharpener the whole thing is metal including the body that's what I think of that one this one however these were 99p 99p versus 6 to 11 pounds let's just put that in perspective there it's still sharpening beautifully it's got a really nice long blade on there too look at that 99p and it came from a shop and I don't think there's many stores around called Tiger or Flying Tiger as it's now called um, it was called Tiger um, and I don't think you can buy it online you have to go into the shop to get it and it's like I'm warning you now it's like an Ikea for stationery and they've got some really good budget stuff in fact it's where I buy it is, I've got my last sort of stubbies there paper stumps and I've got a load of these for a pound they're really really good but yeah look at that so it means that I can get some real fine detail on my pastel pencils without having to resort from using a knife and then sanding um, because I just find sanding such a waste of pastel, valuable pastel. Um, and I just, I wanted to share it with you guys because I wanted to show that you didn't have to spend all this money when you've got a pound, six to 11 pound. And this does a better job than this. A lot of the time when you break your lead in a pencil sharpener is because there's too much movement you're able to wiggle your pencil but if you have a look at how close that pencil is in there there's hardly any any wiggle room which means that I get a nice tight sharpening without risking snapping my pencil lead there you have it your sharpening options but in my opinion for me that was the best one at 99p from tiger i shall pop the link down below to the shop that i got it from as i said i don't think you can order it online if you fancy a giggle watch to the end of the video because there's quite a long blooper reel and apologies if you've got kiddies watching there is some beeps involved with a shell pull Are you a pencil? Nope. Are you a pencil? <laughs> Google Jack D. Are you a bus joke? You're not Are a pencil. You an HB? I really don't know how to start this off. It's a scalpel. That was. No, that's even more. Today is a quick review over some sharpeners I have used. Need hands, start that again. There's a lot of swear words going into these uh, bloopers. Are you a pastel? Um, bleh. <laughs> are you a pastel pencil artist? And are you fed up with sharpening your pencils? Nope, that's even worse. That'll do, wouldn't it? That'll do, piggy. That'll do.